members of the planning board and a board of selectmen voted to fill a vacancy on the planning board. Ladies and ask you some questions, ask you to make a statement, and then when we get to voting. Sure, Mr. Durso. Um, I've known Carol for half the time, so a decade. Uh, she's one of the co-founders of the Green Committee, the Sustainable Green Committee, and um, she was a member of the planning board liaison to that committee, and I've worked with her for a number of years, and she was also a good resource as a former planning board member when I would have questions. Mr. Kisner, you introduce yourself, tell us a little about you and why you were interested in joining the planning board. In my professional life, I work in corporate biotech. I manage a cross-functional team of about 25, essentially doing detail-oriented root cause investigation for pharmaceutical failures. Mr. Atwell, and a lot of people know you from the election, but give us a give us a rundown and where you see yourself fitting in on the planning board. You might regret it someday. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patrick Atwell. Um, so I moved to this town five years ago, as you guys already know, through uh, my running for selectman. My agenda hasn't changed. You know, I've seen this town grow at a rapid pace, so you know that's a concern of mine because we we need to grow to survive and to sustain. Mr. Benson, welcome. Thank you. So uh, to some of you uh, I've never met, some I've known for 25 years that are uh, like Brendan, I've uh, known for 25 years. So, um, And I think it's my, uh, my time to do my part to help the town with future planning. I'll ask a question. Um, I spent a lot of years on the planning board. Uh, a lot of people look to join the planning board thinking that they want to stop development or slow down the pace of growth in the town. A lot of people are concerned about that, understandably so. Um, do you just have some, have some thoughts on um, how the planning board can um, balance those two needs and um, move the town forward while respecting the needs of both the citizens and the property owners? Any thoughts? Uh, so I can start. Uh, so there's laws in place, there's rights of property owners, there's um, fairness to a property owner, there's the, the interests of the general population of the town and especially people around that potential development. And it's just taking uh, what is fair and reasonable as well as what is legal and what's in the best interest. And you marry those kind of three together uh, so the uh, biggest property right for an owner is the right of use and enjoyment of your land, you know, and that's that fine line you're talking about where we don't want to step on toes. To, you know, there's also eminent domain and all types of other legal issues, but I think, you know, balancing all of it, you would have to take, you know, all the facts that need to be looked at. Between the town interests and the corporate interests, I think what you're really asking is, how do you effectively, not drive, because I don't think you can drive this, but how do you move towards compromise? What do you believe? individually is your single greatest asset that you think you guys will bring to the planning board? What do I bring? Tough to say without having been on the board. I, I had a manager once give me some really good career advice that I've tried to follow, which is no matter how smart you are, there is no substitute for sample size. Wisdom can only be gained through experience. So perhaps it's that, it's that perspective that I would bring is that, I don't know, Fran. I like to listen. It's pretty obvious I like to talk. I'm an articulate guy, and I'm data-oriented. So I think the biggest asset I would bring, other than my charm, would be uh, <laughs> is I'm very detail-oriented. Like I said, doing legal studies, I take in every single fact that I need to take in, you know, and I research and research and research. I look at, you know, case law, hypotheticals, and I run everything through my mind before I say I make that decision. So I think uh, living in Hockenden, for as long as I have. Like when I go to uh, my kids' Little League game or soccer game, there's no less than 200 parents at those fields that I know. Um, so the ability to listen to people, have them talk to me, have their input directly input into the planning board, um, I think would be my greatest strength. I just did want to make a, a remark in Mrs. DeVer's benefit seeing she is not able to be here. Um, I think that were she to rejoin that board at this point in time, it would be a very good stabilizing presence. Okay, so having said that, um, let me start on this side with uh, 
Mrs. Brooke? That was the vote. The vote is done. Carol DeBerg is yeah. appointed to a term of the planning board expiring at the 2019 annual town election. And may I remind everybody that there is a 2019 annual town election, which is the best way to get on an elected board.